it's things you could get away with in the eighties. A know? lot. I mean, think about now. The the Nirvana kid is suing for whatever. Oh, yeah. You know. Oh my God! Tell me what to do. Wee, wee, wee. Oh my God! Wee, wee. Hey, they say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash. I'm sitting and thinking like, who knew? I know that you've seen us on rappers react. They're talking about us on YouTube. Hollywood six, it look like I do magic. Maybe he's practicing voodoo. I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention. Well, I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish. I'm What's going on, everybody? We're back with another segment of rappers react. Smoke. Yeah. Diggity. Yeah. Dog. Yeah. All right, Owen Hart was the Blue Blazer at one point. Yes, he was. What was the Blue Blazer's finisher? Good question. Dude, the look on your face right there. <laughs> he was like, damn, what was it? Uh, I don't know that one right offhand. I want to uh, say a DDT, maybe. Maybe. I'm wondering if he still did the, the sharpshooter, the sharp though. Maybe. Yeah. But, of course, that was the gimmick he was doing when he died, also. Rest in peace, man. Yeah. Guys, if y'all know Blue Blazer's finisher, do us a favor, leave it in comments. Yeah. Um, all right, so um, you could have all right, let's see, you see a real pretty girl and you've got the blank for her. The uh, hots. Okay, take the T, the S off. Okay. All right. Um, the blank horseman. Four. All right. We did a song by Ginger, blank blank. <laughs> uh, I know, I know, that did nothing. <laughs> all right. Uh, um, uh, you can, when you go to school and you're learning math, the pe the person that's teaching you math. Teacher. Okay, put it together. Oh, hot for teacher. You got it, my <laughs> friend. Right. Guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big, big favor. Y'all, please hit that thumbs up button. Guys, please, please subscribe to the channel. And for God's sake, leave us a comment and tell us what to react to next, because that's how we get the ideas for these videos. Comes directly from you, right down in the comment section. And to Day, it's about time that we are back on some Van Halen. Van Halen, smoke yes, dog. Uh huh. Listen, man, Eddie Van Halen. Yeah, is an <clears throat> all-out whole legend. Yeah, guitar god. Guitar god, bro. Yes. I mean, literally, the guitar. Yeah. Oh man. Through the through the uh, the mono hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> through, through the auxiliary jack. <laughs> auxiliary. God, that's sorry. sorry. Yeah, that gives a whole new meaning to whammy bar. For oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> but no, nah, do you know this song, Hot for Teacher? Yeah, I think I've heard. Yeah, like, this is something that I would have heard like in my childhood. Like it was probably in uh, movies or something. Really? Yeah. Yeah. This. Um, I'm, I'm guessing you've never heard it, obviously. I mean, it can't comes on, I might know it. Yeah, you might. Uh, it was mid-late 80s. Um, there was a time where uh, Van Halen was more of a, a hard, hardcore rock style, you would say, Okay. in, in their early days. But in the 80s, they, they started taking it into, what's the word, uh, more of a, uh, a popular, I don't want to say they're pop, but it's more of like a popular style, you know, like, and, and I'm not saying campy in a bad way, but more of uh, just general audience type music. When you say campy, what does that mean? Like, um, like more acceptable type music, maybe? Yeah, yeah, something that more, uh, a broader array of audience would enjoy rather than just uh, a I specific you. hardcore yeah. uh, culture of rock, like. They started doing songs that would fit more into uh, the top forty music and right. stuff like that. You know, right. damn that. So originally, what were they? Were they like? I think they were more just metal. Not I mean, really metal, but more hardcore. You know, like an ACDC really? something like that. Yeah. See, I don't know why. I mean, maybe just because the time of the time period being eighties, everyone having big hair. I just associate everyone. To yeah, be, and yeah. I don't think they really they really got into the glam scene. Right. You know, they were more on the outside of that. You know, kind of like ACDC. ACDC. Yeah. I mean... That's probably the best comparison. Damn, really? I think so. Would you compare ACDC's guitars to Mr. Van Halen? Oh, that's a good comparison. What, is but, it? Well, for their, for their time periods, yes. Because, uh, but like I said, I, I would put Eddie Van Halen more along the lines of a Slash. Or, or, you know, and you can't really say Jimi Hendrix because that's the greatest of all time, yeah. you know, or one of them. But he was up there, and he 
invented a new style, a new sound of guitar. Okay. That everyone was trying to copy around that time. Hmm. If you understand that. Yeah, I get it. I get it. So this was this this is later, like you said, later on in their uh, venture of in their discography. Yeah, I, I think this was. I mean, you know, it wasn't super late, but it it was uh, a new uh, iteration of. Of Van Halen. So then, and I know there's going to be some hardcore fans in the audience. Yeah. Like, what are you talking? Listen, about? we're learning. We're <laughs> yes. learning. But exactly. You we're, said you we're know learning this. You said he innovated and you know mm-hmm. made something to where people tried to copy. Yes. I wonder if he made something that people tried to copy, and he he's like, all right, yes, I invented it. Y'all took it. Y'all can have it. Now let me make something newer, which you you say is the yeah more acceptable type. Well, yeah, and it's more pop ish. Uh, yeah, ish. Yeah, and you know it was. Not not just the the guitar sound because I'm sure he's still doing his signature guitar sound, mm-hmm. but the the lyrics were more uh, acceptable. Yeah, exactly. More, peace- more fun loving. Okay. More you know, not so hardcore. Yeah. More jolly old time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shut up. What up? Let's get into it. Let's do it. <sighs> See, those are the teachers that I'm using. <laughs> yeah, I'm making that kind of noise. <laughs> she she get it too. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Why are you doing my bangs like now, that? <laughs> Waldo, I hope you find some Waldo. friends this year. Oh, Mom, oh. you know I'm not what like the other f- guys. Is going on? <laughs> I'm nervous and my socks are too loose. What? <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> is that his mom? <laughs> yeah. She's sending him off to school. He looks like he just bust one. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> this is creepy. Oh, Lord. Sit y'all down. Sit down, <laughs> Thank <you>. Waldo. <laughs> Dude, what is happening? <laughs> In my head, I know we've done a Van Halen song, but in my head, I think we just did the audio. But uh-huh. in my head, I'm thinking that we about to get like some rough and tough. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. This was there at a time where they kind of like toned it down, really. <laughs> you know, like you can hear the guitars are still the signature yeah. guitars and whatever, but it was more of a radio type music. I you think know? that's the perfect way to say it. Yeah. I'm so confused. Oh, not in front of the kids. <laughs> no, she I must feel I'm 
sorry to keep pausing it, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> this can't be acceptable these days. Not these days. Imagine how she feels. <laughs> You're stripping in front of a fourth grade class. You, know, you get away with things in the 80s that you can't get away with now. Man, let's finish this. Girl from Chilla, how can you be so old? How did you know <laughs> that girl I mean, old? those kids are probably having a blast. <laughs> became a Waldo. <laughs> Waldo became a pimp. Yeah, he did. Dude. In this case, I would have preferred to do just the audio. Yeah. I, yes, I would have. Because the song was fire. Yeah. But now I've got so many questions, bro. Like, I'm, a, I'm taking away from the song, and I want to... All right. Imagine this lady. All right, imagine... Okay, back then. Hey, we, we're going to do a... Uh, you ever heard of Eddie Van... I mean, uh, Van Halen? We got, a, we got a gig for you. What mm-hmm. we're going to do, we're going to get you to come in. You're going to dress up, you know, bikini... But yeah. you're going to do it in front of fourth graders. Ooh. You think she was just like, yeah, let's do it. I mean, <laughs> and then the parent. Oh. Well, nowadays we have those questions. I think back then they're just like, okay, we're just doing a video shoot. Like, yeah. There's going to be some kids in this one I because guess it's about school. So uh, it's things you could get away with in the 80s. You a know? lot. I mean, think about now. The, the Nirvana kid is suing for whatever. Oh, yeah. You know? Like, things were acceptable that are no longer acceptable. I mean, it, it, censorship has, you know, gotten, you know, for better or for worse, whatever you consider it to be, it's changed. Absolutely. A lot. Absolutely. Yeah. And there was a lot of things that were acceptable that are just not acceptable anymore. I mean, am I tripping or... I mean, I guess if you would have asked Behringer in fourth grade i'd be like oh this is cool yeah, Man, you'd be you... like perfect <laughs> teacher's gonna strip <laughs> so do you think that means like society the way society has become it's a direct reflection of what i'm saying like hey this isn't acceptable just yeah. be- really yeah because in the 80s if it's you, you were sitting here in the 80s you were a lot older right. sitting here in the 80s you'd be like okay that's normal like it's not like she's naked <laughs> yeah so uh... but nowadays like anything sexualized is not allowed to come anywhere near anyone under age. 18. Yeah, 18. So, exactly. 
And then, I mean, you got to think about it. Like, and I know you're into this kind of stuff, but does this affect the kid's psyche as they grow older? Think well, about that now. Well, the zeitgeist of any time period it affected the kids. Uh, you think about the baby boomer, boomer generation spawned hippies and serial killers, you know? And you, you, then you go to uh, the Gen X, and it spawned um, a political movement, you know, uh, the complete changing of ideologies in political culture. And then uh, here we go to millennial generation, and we spawn the censorship of America. What's the new ones? Gen Z. And what what that's why? <sighs> it's yet to be seen because they're just now becoming of age. So. I would say the sensitive. The sensitiveness. Maybe, maybe. Everyone's so sensitive. Or maybe it goes the other way. I mean, society's a pendulum, you know? It swings in one direction, it swings back the other. You see why I would have recommended the audio? Because we yeah. said nothing about <laughs> Van Halen, dude. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's I don't know, dude. I, I will say, even though the visuals were crazy, mm-hmm. Eddie Van Halen, dude. Oh, monster dude, on guitar. I mean... Dude, monster. See, that just shows you the power of what he can do because even though these visuals are so graphic, mm-hmm. you know, and it, it's, it's not even graphic, but the one thing that you, it caught me first was the drumming. And mm-hmm. then you hear that iconic guitar playing. It's yes. like, yes. That, that can, solo was insane. Oh, dude. I mean, it pierced through. Yeah, I'm just going to show you these crazy graphics, but my guitar playing is going to go right through that and reach you to mm-hmm. where it needs to be reached. And, and like I say, that specific sound. Mm-hmm. That he made with the guitar, mm-hmm. like it hadn't been done to that point. Yeah, he was the first one, and other artists were like, "How do you get it to sound like that?" You know, well, let me show you how it's done. <laughs> yeah, dude, imagine that. Yeah. So I, I heard a story. I can't remember who it was. Uh, man, I, I don't want to say a name. Maybe like Nugent or somebody like that. Uh, but one of these guys said that they were actually touring with Van Halen back in the day mm-hmm. and you know they had already you know, Eddie Van Halen had that signature sound mm-hmm. so they went and used their instruments like well, after they were set up like dude goes wow. and grabs Eddie's guitar and he's like why does it not sound like what you're doing wow so it's just some way he had of playing that made it sound completely different wow. than what anyone else could do they thought it maybe the amps or maybe the, maybe, maybe the, the tuning yeah or the tuning but they would play his guitar and couldn't make that sound for some reason that's what you get when you get a legend mm-hmm. that guy's a legend mm-hmm. um guys any more suggestions we can sit here and do this all day we can talk <laughs> yeah, all, i absolutely. promise you literally if we didn't have other things to do me and smoking could make this a whole two hour thing of just about what we just saw definitely uh, but guys, any more suggestions about Van Halen, leave them down in the comments. Mm-hmm. With that being said, my name's Barry to Hollywood 6. Bye. I am Larry Smokey Ramirez Cowan. And we are over and out. Deuces. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to Rappers React today. If you want to see another artist that we covered, it's right over here. If you want to see the last video we did, it's right over here. Thank you guys for tuning in. We do this for you. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you will. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one. Deuces.